Hello, my old school soul food family. <clears throat> Chef Jeff is back with another video. Y'all, excuse my hoarse voice. Like I said in a previous video, I've been up all night the night before cooking barbecue and I in and out in, that, in the elements outside and just hadn't had enough sleep as I normally get. So that affects my voice. But it's not going to, it doesn't affect my, uh, physically, I feel, feel the same way. You sound a little differently. That's why I'm actually wearing this wireless mic. Y'all should be happy so y'all can really see me clearly, hear me clearly. But anyway, y'all, I did this video so many times. I posted this recipe so many times what I'm going to do. But I'm going to do it again today because it's very significant. This is something we had every 19th of June growing up. And even on Father's Day. This is my favorite, my uh, daddy's favorite dessert, homemade ice cream. He could eat the whole churn, really. But he sure it's up for the kids, though. But anyway... I'm gonna show you my mom's recipe, exactly how she read it down, how she do it today, if she was to make any. And I'm gonna explain the way the recipe is written. It's kind of confusing. So let's get at it. Number one, I use raw eggs. You can use pasteurized egg, you can use cook, you can cook this or whatever. My mom never cooked it. We didn't do pasteurized, we use fresh eggs. And that's where I've always did it. Never got sick. If you have a, a allergy or something to raw egg products or whatever, hey, you're more than happy to alter the recipe or whatever. Some people don't. I use raw eggs in my ice cream. I do not cook it. That's the way I grew up doing it, and we do it in the country. So let's get started. I'm just going to let people, because people are going to come in, all use raw. Yeah, it's the way I've always done it. It's never affected me. Never affected my grandmother, who, great-grandmother, who this recipe really is. So it's passed down for three generations. And they lived all the way into their nineties eating raw uh, egg ice cream. So anyway, let's get started. I got six eggs in the bowl. I'm gonna add four cans of evaporated milk, and I'm gonna take the evaporated milk and fill it up two cans of water. When I say on the recipe, two cans of water, twelve ounces, it means this right here, y'all. All it means is this: I'm gonna take evaporated milk. I'm gonna take the same can, and I'm gonna fill it up with water and pour it in here my mom did that i don't know why the recipe says that i know a, a cup is not uh, a cup is not 12 ounces but that's what i mean can 12 ounces of uh of uh evaporating milk okay i'm gonna pull the other ones in here i'm gonna mix this up before i add my sugar y'all sugar gonna be last after i mix my eggs up this is just evaporated milk, or as we say in the country, pet milk. Put a little vanilla in here. And I'm going to turn the mixer on here. Like I say, y'all, this is so simple to make, y'all. So simple to make. Add my sugar. It don't take long. I don't like get it mixed up really, really good. That's it. Ice cream base is made, y'all. That is it. Very simple. Very easy. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move the camera over here. I got my, uh, I've had this ice cream freezer. People say, where do you get the ice cream freezer? Uh, where I buy one? Look, I've had this ice cream freezer for over 50 years. My mom gave it to me. I'm 53. This thing here, I know it's 50 years old. I don't know. And it's electric. And you know, back in the day, we used to churn them. But I guess it's probably the first electric freezer they ever come out with. I don't know. I've had, I got two more in my, uh, in my uh, entourage. But this is one I like using because it's the one my mom used. And she handed it down to me years ago when she really stopped making ice cream. So, uh, yeah, it's very old, a little rusty, but it does, still does the, uh, hold on, y'all. Let me mix this up in the bottom here. Make sure you get all your sugar out of the bottom. There we go. All right, now. 
Now I'm gonna move this over here. Y'all can see here, move this camera over a little. So y'all can see what I'm doing here. Move it up. What I'm about to do. Okay. Now I got my ice cream in here. Now, put my lid on here. Make sure that now it's very important that the lid is on there good, y'all. Okay. Got my lid on here. Now, I'm going to get my ice here. Y'all sit tight. Y'all sit tight here. I got to go here. I always get a big, a big ice chest of ice. <clears throat> I don't use the bag ice. And I scoop the ice chest of ice <clears throat> right next to my, to my ice cream freezer. Let me get my something to scoop it in here, y'all. I always have something to scoop it in. Hold on here. Okay, now, put this ice up. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in layers of this. I'm gonna put ice. Let me get my rocks out. I'm usually more organized, y'all, but I got so much stuff going on. Got macaroni and cheese in the oven. I got uh, baked beans in the oven, so I got a lot going on. Okay, I use ice cream salt right here. Now I'm gonna do it in layers. I'm gonna do ice. I'm gonna do ice, salt, ice, salt, and so on. Put a little ice on there. And like I said, y'all know back in the day. It was all about churning. We used to fight over who gonna churn it. Cause we like to be on the last churn when my mama say, okay y'all, it's ready. And then we could fight over the the beaters, y'all. You know, if they had a kid, the beaters is the best thing. Okay. All right, now, let me get my motor. Now this thing, like I say, is so old from back in the day that you pray, we pray that it works every time I cut it on. <laughs> I said, Lord, you let this thing work like it used to back in the day. Turn it this way, turn the plug this way. Keep this in here, plug it up, and we pray. There we go, hold on. I sometimes I gotta spin it. Get it going. Cause it got that ice in there. There you go. It's old, but take a while to get going. Now, now that I got it going, I'm gonna add some more ice to it. And that's it. Now I put it in my sink, y'all, so that when the water drips out the hole, it drinks right it drips right in the sink. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continuously add ice to this as the ice melt and salt until the machine stops. And that's it, y'all. That's very simple. So we're gonna be right back when it's ready. And we're going to have some homemade ice cream. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. You hear that sound? That's the sound I've been waiting on. That means it's ready. So what I'm going to do here, let me show y'all here. Give y'all a close-up here. Let me get my moving pan here. My pan here in my sink here. Let me show y'all here. The big unveiling. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Try to knock as much as that stuff off the can, because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. Put that over there. And, uh, first, I got to taste me some, y'all. Got to have a little taste here. Give y'all the first taste. Look at that. Look at that. Homemade ice cream. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh wow, it's so refreshing, y'all. Okay, let me show y'all what I'm gonna do. Hold on, y'all, let me get a little off this damper. Mm. 
Y'all know we used to fight over that, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I got macaroni going at the same time here. I still have my macaroni and cheese. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how my mom used to pack this. I'm going to take this out of here. Put it here to the side. Take this. Drain this ice. Put this back in here. Put this right here. Of course, throughout the years, I have lost this thing back on here, y'all. Hold on here. Let me see how this thing gonna go back on here. Top back on here, huh? All right, there we go. Now, I've lost that little drain thing throughout the years. So what I do, a little aluminum foil here, I'm gonna put in here. Put that in there like that. Put the other part over the top of it. So what I'm fit to do, <clears throat> I'm gonna pack this thing in salt ice, y'all. Because when you pack it down, and salt ice. Let me get me some more here. We're gonna go all the way in here. We're gonna put put some salt on it here. Put ice on top of this. I'm gonna pack all this down. Make sure it's completely sealed still, y'all. Okay. Put a little bit more ice on top. There we go. And I'm gonna cover it with a kitchen towel, clean kitchen towels, just like this. And I'm gonna let it sit here a couple of hours. Let it sit here a couple of hours, and uh, until I'm ready to actually eat it and serve it. So that's how my mom used to do it. She used to let it sit on the counter for hours on end, and. Uh, and then later on, we're ready to take it to the church for the 19th of June celebration. It'll be hard. So I'm going to be back again later, y'all, when it's completely hard and show y'all the significance of packing it down. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, now I'm going to, uh, now what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to put this ice cream in the freezer. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here, how I'm going to do it. Put it in my, I'm gonna do it. Take it out of here. Take this off of here, y'all. Now this way you gotta be really careful. Because uh you don't get no salt. There we go. See that? Now all I'm gonna do, I have bowls here like this, and this is what my mama used to do. Let's take it out of here. See how hard it's gotten. You can just scoop it right and put it right in the bowl. And right in the freezer, y'all. See that? Put the top on there. And you got ice cream. I do this all throughout the summer. Matter of fact, y'all. Let me show you one more here and then I'm going to close this video out. And that's what it does when you add the salt to this. It uh firms it up where it's easier to scoop. Here. One more scoop in here, y'all. One more scoop should do it. There we go. Put that on there. That's it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna finish scooping this up right quick, y'all, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had me a little left here, and I put the rest in the freezer. This stuff is so good.
Look at that. I'm making that ice cream. Easy. It's the summertime. Always keep some in my freezer. Because it's so easy to make. Just like I say, just four cans of milk, six eggs, two cups of sugar, a little vanilla. Voila. 30 minutes in the churn, you got homemade ice cream. So anyway, and uh, I don't know if y'all seen previous videos right now. I got the other stuff here. Let me show y'all. I got my barbecue here. I got my baked beans, uh, macaroni and cheese, all this stuff, y'all. Later on this afternoon, I'm going to box it up. I got some friends coming over, told them to come get all they want, the food. And then the rest of them I'm giving the, uh, away to the neighborhood. I'm going to take a plate out for my mom and my brother. And uh, I'll, I got one of my fishing buddies that want a plate. And all the other I'm giving away. All this food I'm going to give away like I always do. So anyway, uh, let me close this video. I close this video like I close every video. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV and Pinterest and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag this year? We had way through it. We had way through this year. Six months. We got six months to go. You need to hit it hard these next six months. Help as many people as you can. So help somebody Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day and I'll see y'all in the next video.